Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. If you watched my last video, you saw me set up this new 10 gallon tall tank. Right now it is just home to my blood parrot cichlid. And in my last video, I asked you guys to drop some names for that blood parrot. There were a ton of awesome names, but the one I chose is Kobe. Here's the comment right here. I am a big Lakers fan, so to honor the passing of Kobe Bryant, I am naming the blood parrot Kobe. But with that out of the way, I did say I was going to get two new fish for this tank, and that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. And the fish that I'm going to get for this tank are angelfish. I looked it up, blood parrots and angelfish can get along. I know someone that has the two together, so they should be fine if they aren't. As I always do, I will keep a close eye on these fish for the first little bit that they're together. If they don't get along, then I'll just put the angelfish in there because angelfish actually can be community fish as well. And then as you can see, in the 25, we actually have a ton of algae. It's like really bad. So while I'm at the pet store, I'm going to pick up a Placo. Placos do have armor, so I don't think Killer will be able to hurt him. Of course, I will also keep a close eye on those two when they get together just to make sure they get along. And again, if they don't get along, then the Placo will just go in the community tank. But with that being said, let's head over to the pet store. All right guys, we just got done inside of Pet Supplies Plus. I got my two angelfish, and then I also got a Placo for my 25 gallon. Like I said before, the algae is super bad right now. Then we also got two Panda Corridoras. You wanna hold up the bag? These are for Miles' dad's tank. After we get these angelfish and the Placo situated at my house, we're gonna run over to Miles' house and put these in that tank. I just got home, got the angelfish and Placo right here. The angelfish are super cool. You obviously get a better look at them when they go in the tank. And the Placo is like kind of a medium size, probably on the small side a little bit, but we're gonna put these guys in the 10 gallon tall to acclimate. We're gonna give them about 20 minutes and then we will put them in the tank and we'll take the Placo out and put them in the 25. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and what I'm gonna do since I need to get these fish separate, I'm going to just dump all of the water straight into this bucket and then I'm just gonna net the fish out separately. Here we go. Oh yeah, they're fine. Angelfish are gonna be sideways. All right, so we're gonna go for the angelfish first since they are like vertically bodied. There we go, got both of them. There they go. Wow. See, I'm gonna keep a close eye on these fish for a little bit. If Kobe doesn't stop chasing the other two fish, then I will separate them, but we're just gonna give them some time. So I'll update you guys in a little bit. But also we are going to put the Placo in the 25. And again, if Killer doesn't get along with this guy, if he just keeps biting at him, then he will go in the 55. What I am gonna do real quick is actually put some flakes in this tank so the uh, blood pair will be less inclined to go after the angelfish. So I'm gonna give these guys some time to kind of get used to each other. We're actually gonna run over to Miles' house real quick to put the Corridoras in his tank. But we'll be back very soon so these fish won't be just unsupervised for very long. But yeah, I'll see you at Miles' house. We are back at Miles' dad's house. Got the two panda corridors and they're acclimating. We're gonna give them about 15 minutes. I'll check back in with you then. All right guys, it's been about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and release these guys into the tank. So I'm back from Miles' house and I actually already went ahead and put the two angel fish into the 55 gallon tank. Things were getting ugly in the 10 gallon tall. Kobe was just being extremely aggressive toward the angel fish so I just went ahead and scooped them out, put them in the 55. They already seem so much happier in this tank. They're actually uh, moving. <laughs> There's the other one just checking out that plant. So yeah, they'll be better off in this tank. I also went ahead and put the Placo from the 25 into this tank. You can kind of see his tail right there. Killer was kind of biting at him. So I just went ahead and moved him into the 55. So yeah, Killer and Kobe are just extremely aggressive. And what I'm hoping to do is when Kobe gets bigger, like around Killer's size, then I will probably put them back together in the 55. But they're just gonna have their own tanks for now. 
But also down in the comments, drop some names for the two angelfish. There's one of them, he's kind of got an orange head and then the other one has more of a yellow head. Drop some names for these guys. If I like your name, then you'll get a shout out in the next video. But that is gonna do it for this video. I was hoping that the blood parrot would get along with the angelfish. The angelfish really looked cool in that tank, but it is what it is. I have today's comment of the day and that goes out to YT Domi. I love your content, keep it up. Thank you very much and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.